Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. It's spot the difference time, can anybody see it yet? It's on the screen right now. We have cars. Yes, uh, no new towns have been added or AI towns. That is just because I've been doing a lot of work on the infrastructure. Uh, before we put all the houses in and some more of our lovely AI towns so that we get more of those cars on the road. That was our first car though uh, that we've seen. There's a few that are driving around. Not too many, you'll be pleased to know. And uh, I think I hear a train in the distance. The uh, Class 104. You'll remember I kept calling it the cardboard motorbike. Well, Stephen Burnett or Burnett one of those, he pointed out that it was correct, the sound effect, and linked a few videos back in the comments of the previous video. So I went and took a listen, and yes, it does rattle like that when it's being thrashed. However, the only thing that's really missing are gear changes, which uh, they may be in there, but we're limited on our speed. I don't know what uh, speed it would change gear at. The 110, on the other hand, sounds quite nice. We'll take a listen before the end of the episode. I can hear a 104. I would say the only issue... No, well, no, the more I hear it, it sounds all right. It's, it does have the growl. I was going to say it's missing the growl from the diesel. But no, it is there. It's probably just <laughs> hidden behind the rattle uh, go back to that video and look down in the comments or just search class 104 on youtube and you'll find plenty of examples there we go listen to it pull away ui is up 104 heading off into the distance there's another car what's that like seeing cars guys isn't this great it's a start isn't it that's uh that's going to be the way things are going forward. Now that they're on here, they're not vanishing. Uh, unless, of course, we delete the connection, which I'm not going to do. But there we go. We've even got a little van driving down here as well. It does mean I can start installing some of the mods. The car mods that are available on the workshop. I do have a few to install. And uh, you can see some of the example mods down here. That's the same van, isn't it? Is that the same van? Where are you going? You're heading that way. Yes, just in a different colour. Some of these are mods. I think they're all mods, actually. Yeah. I like the uh, golf there. Anywho. Is that a Fiat next to it? I think so. What have I been doing? If we uh, zoom out, you'll see we have lots more in the way of roads and bus stops. There is our connection now to Camberslang all the way to our big Cathcart Circle in southern Glasgow. We've even got the start of me recreating that massive building that's there. Not the right colour, not the right buildings, but I'm giving it a go anyway. A lot of this at the side and at the front will be hidden. I really wanted to get the, uh, the roof sorted. We're heading off to Newton's Day. It's a, it's a bit of a tricky build. As in, we've got a tunnel, but we'll we'll look into that when we get there. There goes the 104. It sort of sounds like that. Sort of. I think it's our limited speeds that we have around here that cause it to uh, sound more like that than it would. That's the nice sound. There we go. When it's not accelerating. Yeah, it doesn't get much of a chance to coast. Which is probably half the problem. Probably half the problem. So yes, there we go. We have a lot. A lot of new roads available to us. And I'm going to keep adding our, our bus stops here. I did want to show you this in case you ever get uh, bitten by this strange behaviour that Transport Fever has with buses. I mean, it sort of makes sense and it sort of doesn't. It goes around there, as you can see, the arrow points 
but it can only go that way. So what it does is it goes up here and does some um, some lovely right angles. There we go, fantastic. That's not how buses do. And then it scoots off onto its normal journey. However, you can change this. Or oh, actually, we can just use this to have bus lanes, and then that will fix it. There you go. So if you ever get stuck with that bug, just give it bus lanes. Not ideal, but it is a fix nonetheless. Hopefully they fix stuff like this. Buses should be able to turn regardless of whether the arrow says or not. And uh, it's just a shame to block off two of the lanes, isn't it? Just to get the buses doing that. I mean, in your normal gameplay, I guess you could work around it. But enough about that. We've got to head over this way. I have, I have attempted some sort of monstrosity here at uh, Kirk Hill. It's close, except we have this issue. Another one of Transport Fever's wonderful quirks. I'll say wonderful. It's terrible. But um, yeah, I'll figure out a way to, to get that hidden. I don't know how. Ideally, it needs to come out and then have a little bit of a cutting and then go back into a tunnel. I think what we could do... Do you know, before we do anything, should we have a look at what we've got? I've extended the track just to get a rough idea of the slope and the height we need. Uh, let's take a look at the map, shall we? And this is where we're heading today. Now, this is the issue we have. Yes, we're supposed to go underneath the station with a road, which has to go in. There are three bridges, one of them being the West Coast Main Line, which is the middle bridge. And this one... It uh, looks like a disused line where they've still got the bridge in. So we've got to put those in. Uh, the car parks we could probably do. Newton isn't the only... Well, Newton Station isn't the only thing we've got to do today. We've got this ginormous junction to do. And this track is the one that heads off, if we follow it down, to uh, Camberslang. There we go, that we've got in. So we need to go that way. And uh, we're going to be doing this junction at the very least, and this one, all of this, the station, and possibly this as well. From what I can tell, this line here is a big circle that goes through Motherwell. And where are we? Heads around here, Hamilton, uh, across, and then round, and then, ooh, airballs, that, that'll do and then we've got Motherwell, which is going to be a fun build. So yeah, there's uh, lots going on there. I'm going to put the station in first and then figure out the rest from there. I mean, one option is to do the junction first and then connect it. That is kind of tempting. It is, is very tempting. We're pretty much high up all the way and we're in a cutting and there's that big tunnel that we need to do got another bridge here which is where we've got that strange issue yes we've got to go and head down to newton before we do that i've got to fix a couple of things on the map one did anybody well i know some of you spotted it we have a bit of an issue at mount florida i'm gonna pause it a second and uh it's three and two and if you look down here at the marching ants I forgot to take out the two extra platforms. I thought I took them out, but uh, apparently I did not. So that's an easy fix. Going to take out this one, and this one, this one, and that one. That should make it P1 and P2. And there will no longer be passengers waiting in the gravel or in the dirt on the edge of the mountain there. Mountain? Not really a mountain, is it? No, it's more of a, a cutting. We're going to have a retaining wall there and all sorts. But there we go. I should show you some of the detailing I've been doing. Uh, did I ever show you that bridge? I just added that in. I've started work on turning this into some sort of fly under. And I've started putting some more trees in along the side here, which is starting to, starting to look the part now, isn't it? Same down here. I've put a retaining wall in there, even though there isn't one. 
Well, I've turned it more into a, uh, a viaduct. But yes, things are slowly coming together. I think that's everything I need to do. Oh, yes, I've gone over here. And I've, I've done this. It's close. It'll do me. Uh, we do have a couple of delivery places over here, which I think we can put in. I've also extended the River Clyde down here, and we've got the two bridges here. This was a mission and a half right here. But there's uh, two bridges now heading into... Oh, what is that? Carmyle. There we go. You named it. So, how are we going to do this? I've got no idea. I'm kind of stuck with this bit. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. It might get bulldozed and I'll work on it at some point. Now, we're going to go with 50 mile an hour on the tracks here. What I'd like to do is come back out, but head back down. We're going to have to terraform a lot. We're way higher than we should be. And we're going to head down. Ooh, we're going to have to head down quite steep. Although, from what I can remember... It was quite steep, wasn't it? When we were riding in Train Sim World 2. Keep it straight. Ah, there we go. That's almost perfect, isn't it? Yeah, we'll keep that straight and then we'll head down and join. In fact, let's just go down one tick. We'll have our tunnel like that. Yes, and keep heading down and then we can stop going down once we get over to there. Okay, this, we're going to have buildings over here. This is going to be quite a bit lower. Probably closer to where that is. For example, we'll get our terrain tools here. We'll take it down to that sort of height. And that's not too bad, is it? I still, I, Like I said, I don't know what I'm doing about this bit here. It's going to be tricky to recreate because of the uh, bizarreness that is Transport Fever's terrain and tunnels. It's ridiculous. You can't smooth it. You can't. What? Even? Wait, you can smooth it? No way. Then that stays. I didn't know that was a... Oh, do you know what I never tried? Smoothing it out when this was here. The exit to the tunnel. Yes. I don't, I don't even know, guys. Talking of uh, things that I did wrong... Or bizarrely. When I was removing these, there's a much easier way. Thank you for reminding me in the comments. If we get this, you can just delete them. There we go. And it will re revert the, uh, the texture to whatever it was when the map was created. Uh, before all the painty went on. So there you go. That was a much easier way. Now, I do know why I was doing that. Because over here... I had to use a mixture of the paint because if you revert it over here, we'll just do it as an example. Yes, I was covering this up, so that's probably why I was stuck in that mode, meaning we're going to have to redo this now. Well, that's fine. Yeah, I I was just doing a, a little bit like that. And that is why there was a reason behind uh, behind why I was doing it that way. I got stuck in in that method and uh, completely forgot about the deletey bit and that is exactly how I was doing it at the beginning this has made me all sorts of happy I don't know about you guys uh, we don't need it this high do we no we can bring all this down if we do something like that we can probably bring it down a little more uh, yeah how far down can we get this and then can we do the same thing with the smoothie tool here. It would be lovely. Well, sort of. I mean, it gets it. There we go. It's not going to be quite as aggressive as this. It's going to be a bit more of a, a gentle slope with some trees and stuff around there. But that, there we go. It does work. Oh, I don't know what I was thinking, guys. I was having a moment. I've been having plenty of moments lately. It's because all my games that I'm playing are breaking around me. So I get flustered. But anyway, yes, enough uh, enough being flustered. Let's get the, the job done. I'm just super happy about that. This is an is issue with terrain alignment. 
and paving, if you do not uh, level the ground beforehand, it just won't smooth. Uh, you can uh, sort of avoid that a little bit by setting the terrain to where you want it and then you can smooth it afterwards. Of course, I go overboard with that most of the time uh, by not trusting the game. I think this is going to happen everywhere, which is why you'll see me leveling the terrain in places. Anyway, we're up here. We've got to do a junction, haven't we? These two tracks are going to join, and then we've got this one's going direct to the station with a crossover. I'm going to go with our... This I was testing around with some ideas, and we can use that. As you can see, the uh, elevated station, and we could dig a hole. Not the prettiest of solutions. I'm going to go with this, and we're going to make it 160. I'd like this station fairly large, and we're going to go quite a ways from where the station would be to allow us a bit of junction work. There should be fine. It is high speed, although we are going to have to rebuild the track regardless. I don't know what speeds are down here. I'm going to assume 50 on this and then 70 for the West Coast Main Line. So we need electric 50 rather than electric 6. Right, get in there. We've got a decent amount of room to play with, haven't we? What was that other thing we've got? The King's Cross stuff. There's the crossovers, the walkover. There they are. These, yes. Like that. That'll be fine. It does the job. I think that's as close as we can get it, though, to uh, the back of the station there. But there we go. We've got our elevators. Uh, we've got the escalators. And we've got the walkover as well. Another thing we need to do is give us an entrance. And the only one I really like out here is the old style King's Cross. And that should be perfect. And will lead to our car parky area when, once we get the detailing up. Now, how can we do this? We need this probably a couple of tracks distance because there is a building down here. Although one track distance should be more than enough. What we'll do is we'll stick us a quick track in there. It doesn't matter which. Uh, just so that we can draw us a manual piece of track in there at 70. Uh, with electrification just there. That way we can... Do oh, don't delete it like that. How many times have I done that? I get carried away sometimes and delete it completely as well. All you want to do is delete that one. There we go. And that should be our West Coast Mainline section. Heading past Newton here, bypassing. And that's everything we need to work with, isn't it? Up to that point. And then we can delete these little nibbles here. Yeah, that's the term I'm using. And I guess we need to keep this all nice and flat to make a lovely junction. So if this is heading up that way, it's got a bit of a curve to it. I'm going to go something like that and just connect this up and see how it all fits together. Now this one would head up there. Of course, it's all going to depend how this all slots in. What do you reckon we should do first, though? Newton. There we go. The issue we're going to have, whether the crossovers actually play nice. Uh, we have the one that crosses over like that. And I don't think it needs to be very quick either. Uh, we're going to exaggerate slightly. And is it looking okay? It is. Right. Good start. Then we've got the other one that branches off to meet this. I'm hoping that's all we need to do with that. Considering we've just got back on track, excuse the pun, I would say we should be okay with that. It's obviously not like that. It's, it's more of a closer angle. But we are a little bit further that way, meaning we've lost some of the some of the curve. Or we've gained some curve, haven't we, rather than lost it. So we've got the crossover here going to there. Then we've got another crossover, I believe, going to 
there as well. And then this one also goes through and over like that. I'm not going to do it too quick. Uh, yes. As long as it looks okay. This is a crossover as well. Which we're going to have to probably line up with that one for us. Don't imagine it's very quick either. It could be quick. If it's quick, we'll, we'll adjust it. This is doing roughly what the junction is doing. Uh, what I'd like to do is official episode. There we go. I think we did a little bit of official episoding, which actually fixed our tunnel entrance over there. This here, which is wonderful and made me all sorts of happy, if you couldn't tell. There we go. Lovely. Okay. I mean, that's a bit steep just there. That's the only thing I'm not happy about. Maybe, maybe we can take these out and make this a little smoother and just do it from this point here so it's more gradual all the way down. I hope it draws it a little nicer. It might even put us closer. It has put us a bit closer. There we go. That will help, wouldn't it? Brilliant. Well, that will do us then. Which means that's going to come in like that. Again, I don't know the speed. And that again. 35. It's a bit snug, isn't it? Okay. Get that nice and smooth. More official episode, guys. Yes, I prefer that. And then we've got the crossover here. As long as the uh, crossovers look lovely. I can guess that can go the same. Yeah. Yes, there we go. Like that. And it doesn't look bad at all. I think that covers our bases, guys. And then we're heading off that way. And we'll just do it straight for now. And we're heading up to that station there. Something like that. I don't know whether it's a cutting yet, but we'll just put it up that way anyway. And this one's heading off around here. Again, I'm not sure on cuttings. I've not researched that far. Although, I will say, we do have another crossover to fit in here. So I wouldn't mind this going nice and straight. And then, having the crossover. And then the, the curve. I'm even going to go, I think, 40. It's a bit aggressive. But we do need to uh, make our way back now to where the track is. And then we can have our crossover, something like that, I think it is. And then that heads over this way. And then it looks like a little siding that heads off as well by the side of the track, which we might as well put in. Something like that. Now, this isn't technically like this. It, uh, so I would like to replicate that somehow. This doesn't stick with this one this one is a little further out so that would go something like that and this one would come in something like this i don't know why it's like this there must be a reason and then we'll send that off that way and bring this back round like that there we go it looks something like that on google maps almost like there was a little tiny station there I'm sure that isn't the case. Maybe it was a water tower. Maybe. Now we have the fun job of getting underneath all of this. This section, we're probably going to uh, come out of the tunnel. Which means we'd have to be a little further away. One option is to be right next to the station here. To make this a little uh, smoother. We could, of course... Yeah, that's a point. Guys, we could come round and then up like that. That would take it off. I'll tell you what, I'll work on that. We'll need some signals, which I'd like to put in. Now, I don't know the exact signals here. What I'd like to do is put them in how I would block the junction, which would mean a one-way signal there. And then we'd have, I guess, two at the end. We can't make these attached to the plat. Oh, we can, sort of. I'm going to say we need them both sides. Possibly. 
Yes, we, you could have them both sides. You could turn around here and head to uh, Canvas Lane. And then you can turn around here and head back via Kirk Hill up there. I love Kirk Hills on a hill. That's fantastic. I guess we're doing right. That's going to go there. None of these are going to be one way. We're going to have one that side and one that side. Which would work even in Transport Fever. And then you'd have another blocking one over this way. That's looking like what it would do. A one-way signal there. I wouldn't really want trains turning around up there. And then another blocking signal somewhere here. In real life, probably a little further away. It's a fast line. I think that guards all of that, doesn't it? Yes. And then uh, would have one over here somewhere as well. Heading that way. Possibly two here. You've got the one where you're actually heading that direction. And then you've got the one here. I don't like what this is doing. I've just seen that. Not pleasant, is it? Let's make that curve a little more beautiful. Let's make that go nice and gentle. And then this can come out. Oh, yeah, that's way too much now. In fact, we can probably come out a better angle here now. I'm going to imagine it's not very quick either. It's like a little siding. I wonder if that's the five mile an hour thing down there. It might be this here. And we could have it a rusted ball head. I don't know whether it's used. It might actually be used as a turnaround. Yeah, so we don't want it rusted. And in fact, we'll just have it five. That's where I think that five comes from. In uh, transport fever. In transport fever. In train sim world two. Yeah, it's probably leading you up there to turn around. That should do. That should do. Leave it alone, Gran. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, so we will have the same signals at this end, but a two-way. One there, and one just... Oh, one just there. Perfect. And blocking signals... I'm yet to see the crossover, the state of the crossovers up here. So until I see those, I'm just going to put a one-way signal there. And there might be a, a little position light here since you're going into that area. So something along those lines. Just there. Don't know whether you would have one here. It might actually just be a signal. There's possibly another crossover down here so we'll leave that for this layout i kind of like that would there be an entrance signal or will it just be another little another little one of them ground lights but uh more of a signal should we just put that in like that there we go that'll do oh that shouldn't be one way should it lovely guys i think we can extend our line straight away that is beautiful. And we don't need our temporary crossover wherever we put it. Where is it? It's up near Kirk Hill. Yeah, we don't need that anymore. Let's pause it then. I will say I'm a little bit surprised we got all the way up there. Technically now we can extend this one to sit in the other platform, P2. Oh, oh, I had a moment. I remember this being P1 and that P2. Oh, oh, I thought I'd put it around the wrong way. Thankfully, I didn't. And we should maybe have another train that comes out here doing the opposite loop. I want to thank you in the comments for pointing that out and taking a look at the schedules. Now, it should be Kirk Hill as the last station currently. And all we're going to do is take you to Newton, P1. Perfect. And back to Kirk Hill. And that's it. And you are doing the exact correct thing. Oh, you're beautiful. There we go, guys. Yes, I think that's it. That's good. And we're going to need a signal down here, a blocking signal. One way. We'll just put it here. I guess, I mean, we could fit another blocking signal somewhere. Maybe one here. And then we'll have another one just there, other side of the tunnel. 
Lovely. Oh yeah, and we've got two different types of tunnel. Absolutely marvellous. Uh, we should maybe have one leaving the station as well. Yeah, just there should do. Perfect. I mean, we could have the leany out ones. It doesn't really matter. And what don't we need? We don't need that any longer. Oh, it's starting to come together, isn't it, guys? There we go. Oh, it's, it's doing silly things. Yeah, I don't think I trenched that bit. Never mind. It's fine. It's all got to be tidied up anyway. That's not how it's going to be. Yeah, we just want a nice gradual slope on that with some trees on it. That we will get around to. We're almost connected up to Camberslang. We've got to do all of uh, all of this area and this area. But as you can see, we are making our way across. Now we can play it again. And do we want... Oh, we're missing signals this way, aren't we? we just put you there. And we'll put the other one just there. We're missing some AWS as well. Uh, would you have another one? Here? I would say we could fit one halfway. I don't remember there being that many signals, to be fair. And could we have a leaning out one? Just here on the edge of the platform. Yeah, we can. Perfect. Yeah, we'll just have it like that. I don't know whether this signal's really required. We're lacking signals this way. The reason I'm putting more signals in is we're going to have uh, another service on here. And we can have that into the platform there. And I'm going to put one either side of the bridge. One there. And... Oh, is that the right way round? Yes, and one there. It's a bit close to that one, but having short distance signals isn't too terrible. Or maybe, maybe we can move it the other side of the bridge. Level with that one. Like I said, I don't remember there being the greatest amount of signalling down here. We'll just put it like that. Right, that should be all the blocking we need. I do feel like we need another train doing that. Oh, yes. We can extend this as well, can't we? Manage line. Currently, it just goes to canvas line. But what we could do, although I'm not sure exactly what this line is, is head it out to Newton and then back to canvas line. Uh, we are missing some one-way signals, so it's not doing it itself. It should be able to do this. It should be able to go there and then head back out that way. And that signal would control it. Although we could technically have another signal here. Would there be? I don't know. We could do for the sake of transport fever. And have that one way. And what are you doing now? Maybe. Uh, yes. We can always route it as well. That way. We might have a, a signal issue up there. Uh, do we want these to be actually three aspect? I don't think any of them are three aspect. We're limited on choice. If I put that one there and that one there. Okay. Yeah, we might have some shenanigans going on. This was temporary. Was always temporary. And we're probably stopping on the same platforms here. Camberslang 2 needs to be 1. And do you do this bit correctly? Sort of. I'm glad I put the signalling because we can reroute it down here just for giggles. Because we've got blocking signal. I would prefer it to do that. That's how I would route it anyway. So we need to add... Well, let's zoom out a bit. Add that on the way back. There we go. Beautiful. Little wiggle. Out to, uh, where are we going? P2. And then back again. And on using the actual track, the real life track. Uh, the layout could be a little questionable. A little curvier. Wrong one. Want you. Just get in there. There we go. Beautiful. Look at that, guys. I'm all sorts of happy with this. And we can have, but you know, just, oh, not that one have that one like that 
And this can be uh, one way now. How are we doing then? I think we're good. We do have a lacking in signals down here. I haven't done any of the signal work along this bit. Maybe up there, that's it. So... No, that should be fine. That should be fine. We'll leave the AWS for now because these might not be the, the final layouts for both. I'm sort of tempted. Is this the one? No, that's not it. That's the circle. Where's where's our other one? Well, I guess we could click on one of these. Grab that. Grab the train. There you are. Where are you going? Oh, you're heading into Glasgow Central. Now, here's what I imagine is going on with the other service that heads to Newton. There's one that goes that way and possibly one that goes that way. But they both head to Newton. I'm not sure. I'd have to research that further. So for now, I think what we can do is duplicate this one. Oh yeah, our trains might all be doing silly things at Central now. Is that doing the same thing? No, that's doing the same thing. All right. Uh, what about you? Are you doing the same thing? I bet you're not. You like to change to 11 every single time. What we need you on is 5, I believe. Yes, and then you do the little dance here. That's better. There we go. That's better. Tidy, where are you going now? You're just all sorts of confused. Oh, yes, 104. Sounds a bit growlier. Not the 104, the 110 sounds a bit growlier, doesn't it? Yeah, when that accelerates, it doesn't sound as bad. I like the way it's getting weathered. Beautiful. I have just saved it because I hadn't saved it for an entire episode. What are you? Oh, I keep forgetting about these. Right, that can't happen, can it? Let's get you a couple of 10... Do you know, I'm going to put 104s on here. And I'm going to change the Newton one to 110s. Just because they're a little bit powerful. Or a little bit more powerful and less less chuggy in fact we could maybe do some other things with it as well well i'm going to put 104s on here and we'll put uh scott rail ones will do just fine where the two engine scott rails perhaps three car two engine well no i want to save a little bit of money i'm going to go with the, the single engine especially for this little journey so yes Two of those. Replace those. Finally got rid of the electric trains. Not that they'll be gone for long. Here comes our... What are you? What are you hauling? Oh yes, class 47. Is it nice seeing cars driving around? There's not many, but the odd one is nice, isn't it? Yeah. We've still got our buses. People are using them. Should we put in... Uh, I'll show you this mod I've got. I would like to put it in. It's a monster. It's going to take a bit of uh, squeezing to get it in. I would like it in, though. We can drop it down a touch there. It's a little bit of quick scenery, is what I would call it. There we go. And then we can smooth that out. We'll get it much smoother than this by the time we're done. This road is an AI road. So, uh, yeah. Or is it? Yes, this one's an AI road. I have not locked any of their roads yet. You have to be careful smoothing down here, otherwise you'll get water. That's how close we are. Um, I've also got to do some painting here. Oh, I might have painted over that myself. So if we quickly get the delete, it should get rid of that grass. Yeah, there we go. Uh, switch that up. That's where I was painting. There, we've got a little car park there. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, I might need to work on that a little bit with the uh, terrain tools. Give it a little bit of a border. And then we'll do some fancies. Because they're a bit flashy, aren't they? I don't know whether they're supposed to be that flashy. It's uh, that Z order again. They could probably do with being a little bit higher. So they don't interfere with the tarmac -y thing. Oh yeah, that's quite bizarre, isn't it? I do like it, though. I like the whole building things. Well, let's get this hooked up, shall we, before it moans at us. I guess what they're going to use is these roads here. 
can get those in. There we go. Get you going out that way. And then you'll join the other side of the roundabout. There we go. We got it in, guys. Not that one. That one. Get it all nice and... Official episode did. Oh, careful with the water. Oh, do we have to delete some more? Yes, we do. That's fine. Get all that deleted. In fact, you could have it like asphalt, couldn't you? Out the front. Something like the, the lighter grey. Like that. Just to mix it up a little bit. You could put some detailing out there. I don't know. Well, I don't like it over there, though. Uh, get rid of that. Undo that. Yeah, tidy that up. I mean, I'm going a little bit overboard now. Possibly. There we go. Yeah, it's not bad. As long as you don't zoom in too much and you've got a bit of flickering going on there. But, uh, yeah, that one there. We've got that that other uh, square one that we can, might fit in here. We're not fitting another one of those in. But already that's a little bit of cheap, uh, cheap as in lazy scenery, isn't it, for our track side. There'll be some, some trees and stuff on the side. So I'm just hoping that flashing doesn't get on my nerves, which it might do. Uh, that, that's a real shame about that. I don't know whether that's that's a thing for everybody else or something I've done wrong. I might need to go under the, the ground here and terraform it. I don't know. I'll look into it, guys. I'll see if I can find a, a solution to stop the flashing or whether that's just what happens with it. More official. Oh, careful down there. Don't official episode anywhere near that bridge. I'm happy. Guys, we've got a connection in. Our train heads up. In fact, we could get on board that, couldn't we, today? Take a trip on the 47. We're on the... Where is it? It's just heading in now. And uh, what I'll do is I'll add... Where's train 7? I'll add some more of those on. I'm going to change them to the 110s purely for the engine sounds. And that they're a little more powerful to go down that line. Although, I'll wait off because uh, it's going to get up to speed down here, I think. I'll have a listen. But I would like us to take a ride on this. Uh, down to Newton. Guys, we're on board. The... Uh, the whatever service this is to uh, not Canvas Lang anymore, is it? Glasgow Edinburgh service? Pot, that's possibly what it is. I don't think it technically stops at Canvas Lang or Newton, but we'll look into that more in depth once we uh, once we start finalising that route. Obviously, we've got some trains to head off to Motherwell, perhaps as well, and Hamilton. So looking forward to that. For now, I will leave you on board this. And I can't believe we got the junction in and the connections and and smoothed that bit of tunnel, which I'm, I'm still excited about. I should shut up about it, shouldn't I? Absolutely. All right, guys. Until next time. Take care.